Hello, in this lecture we'll continue on chapter 24 with the allocation of indirect expenses. So allocation of indirect expenses. Indirect expenses can be allocated to departments using a number of allocation bases. Some common uh, indirect expenses and their allocation bases are wages and salaries. And the question here is if the wages and salaries were not applied to a particular department but they were indirect in nature, meaning they can apply to more than one department, how can we apply them to different departments? And once again, the most common answer to that, if we just thought about it very quickly, would be to take the expense and divide it by the number of departments. But once again, the departments might not be even in nature, meaning some departments might be larger. So we can do a similar type of ratio analysis. And if, if we're talking about wages, the common thing to use might be hours worked in each department. So the one that has more hours worked should get applied more of the wages that are being split between the departments or if it was rent and related expenses so the rent on the entire building should be applied to the different departments which are in the building then maybe that floor space would be a good use to which has more floor space should get allocated more of it advertising expenses how could we advertise how could we allocate the advertising expense to multiple departments that are benefiting from that expense well maybe the amount of sales revenue could be used as an allocation method Equipment de uh, depreciation. How can we allocate the depreciation to different departments that are different sizes who are both benefiting from the equipments being used? Hours used in each department of the equipment could be a way to do that. Uh, uh, utilities expense. That may be good to use the floor space again in terms of allocating the utilities. Department income statement. All right, so now we're going to prepare the department income statement. So let's prepare department income statement using the following steps. Step one, accumulate revenues and direct expenses by department. So first we'll accumulate the revenue expenses by that are direct to the department. And then we're going to allocate the indirect expenses across departments. Then we'll allocate service department expenses to operating departments because the service departments are part of basically the operating departments and we have to allocate them out, which will become clear as we go. Prepare departmental income statement at that point. Okay, step one, department income statement, accumulate revenues and direct expenses by department. So revenue and or direct expenses are traced to each department without allocation. So the direct expenses are the ones that are fairly easy. They are applied directly to a particular department. There's no question in terms of which department should we go to, we, de we reply them out directly. For example, the revenue and direct expenses are going to be applied directly to the operating department for hardware in this case, which is a profit center. The direct expenses uh, here are going to be applied, these direct expenses are going to be applied to the service department, which is a cost center, and it's uh, the general office. So these cost service being a service department, this doesn't mean it's a service department to outside individuals. It means it's a service department within the, the company. It's a cost center, meaning that it does not generate revenue. What happens is it's there to support the other departments, being hardware and houseware. So then we have the service department has a direct expense allocated to this service department, which is a cost center, no revenue being generated. Again, service doesn't mean we're servicing customers uh, necessarily we are not generating revenue it's a cost center not generating revenue and this is for purchasing and then we have the revenues and direct expenses for the operating department which is a profit center in this case and that's housewares so hardwares and housewares to uh, departments so department income statement allocating indirect expenses across departments indirect expenses are allocated to all departments using appropriate allocation basis so whatever the indirect expenses are, we, the list we looked at before could have been the maintenance, the utilities, and whatnot. We're going to use some kind of allocation method, as we looked at before, to apply those expenses to these different departments based on that allocation method. So department income statement step three, allocating service department expenses to operating departments. So Service department, total expenses, original direct expenses, and allocated indirect expenses are allocated to the operating department. So remember, these two service departments are servicing the operating, are the profit centers. They are not there to generate revenue. So their whole purpose is to then be allocated to the hardware and software. So now that we've allocated costs to these cost centers, we can then evaluate them based on how they have done in that performance. 
And now we need to take whatever cost is in these service centers and allocate them to hardware or houseware, the operating departments. And we're going to have to find some allocation method in order to do that. So, for example, department expense allocation spreadsheet. Step one, once again, we're back to step one and we'll see some pictorial numbers of the same method. Direct expenses are traced to the service department and sales department without allocation. So in this case, these are direct expenses being payroll requisitions. The total expenses here and we allocate it out directly. We don't need any allocation method. It's very straightforward in terms of which department they should go in. Hopefully it's much, much more straightforward. <laughs> Being the service department one, service department two, sales department one, and sales department two in this case. Department expense allocation spreadsheet. Step two, then, we have the indirect expenses are allocated to both the service and the sales department based on floor space. So now this is the rent and the utilities remember. And we're performing a ratio analysis based on the floor space and taking these total expenses. We know what the total is. We just need to know how to allocate them between the service department one, service department two, sales department one, and sales department two. We are using the floor space as our allocation basis in which to do that. So of a total of 2,000 square feet, the service department occupy 200 square feet each. Sales department one occupies 600 square feet and the sales department two uh, occupies 1,000. Therefore, we could do a calculation such as this. We could take the 200 for the first department, divide it by 2,000, and multiply it by this 10,000 here. That's where we're getting this 1,000 allocation. So we're using a ratio analysis in order to break out that allocation. So then if we look at, the, at step three, service department total expenses, original uh, direct expenses plus the allocation that was allocated to the service departments, remember the service departments being the internal departments, the cost centers, are now going to be allocated to the sales department, in this example based on sales dollars for each department. So sales department one has 40,000 in sales and sales department two has 48,000 in sales. So in this example we're going to use the sales as the allocation base to determine which department is larger and we're allocating the full service department uh, revenue or expense to the sales department based on that analysis. So we're going to take the 40,000 in this case divided by the total of 88 in revenue gives us our ratio and multiply that times the 2002. That's how we get our allocation here of the 1,000 to the sales department one versus the 1,002 to the second sales department total, uh, which gives us the total. Uh, if we look at step three continued and the service department total expenses, original expenses plus the allocation of the other service department, we're going to use a similar allocation method. In this example, the allocation is based on the number of employees. So it was determined that sales ratio, what we used last time, is not as appropriate to allocate this service department out. Instead, we're going to look at the number of employees as an allocation basis. So sales department has 28 employees and sales department 2 has 40 employees which total 68 employees. So that's the total 68. If we take the 28 divided by the total and then multiply that times the 3,400 which is the total expenses for service department 2 then we get an allocation of 1,400 for uh, the service department 2 and versus the 2000 and that's how we can you we can figure out what the breakout of that allocation would be so then if we take a look at the final department income statement for uh the this whole process we have the combined total first and then we can break that out between the two departments notice we only have two departments now we do not have the service departments because the service departments were allocated into the total department here so we've got uh the gross profit sales minus cost of goods sold gives us the gross profit and then we have the breakout of the direct expenses and then the allocated indirect expenses here allocated service department down here and that will give us obviously our total operating expenses and then our net income.